hello everyone welcome to my channel I do understand that this is all about repentance if you don't like talking about God if you don't want to hear the word about God get the hell out of my channel understand that people God created each and every one of us when you before you came to this world you was a tiny speck in heaven you are the one that said God I would like to experience this earth then God said okay you want to go but this is how this is my condition this is how you would go into earth some people come normal healthy 10 feet you know 10 fingers 10 feet both legs some people come dysfunction. Some people come with a disability. You said, God, I don't care how you allow me to come on this earth. I just want to visit this earth. Some people say, God, I want to come in this earth for one second. God says, okay, no problem. If that's what you want to do, I'll allow you. Then after we, we know, God put us in our mother's room. He, choose, he chose a parents for us. Sometimes we say, God, we don't care who's the parents. We just want to come experience this earth. Once God put us in the belly of that individual, we come here. Some of us suffer. Some of us have a good life. Some of us end up with a rich parent. Some of us end up with a crazy parent. Some of us end up with a psycho as a parent. But we actually made the choice to come in this world. God just want us to have free will and you know allow us to experience the aspect the movement of this earth some of us once we get in this earth and that's the that's the reason why God says before I put you in your mother's room I already know you before God put you inside that individual body, he knew who you were because he created you. Because I understand some people say, oh, there is no God. God don't exist. I don't believe in God. I'm an atheist. I'm an agonistic. Oh, when you ask them, how did you get here? Oh, my mother. How did your mother get here? Her mother. Stupid question. Stupid answer they give. Some people believe in science. No, I'm here based on science. Who created science, people? God. Who give us the knowledge? God. Each, each and every time I hear somebody, you know, question God, I'm like, oh my God. Is this person stupid oh they are not in realization of who God is sometimes you hear people they're scientists doctors lawyers oh I don't believe in God you know astronomers I don't believe in God if without God you would not have the knowledge that you have today if God says right now I will wash away each and every knowledge I have put in your brain. What would you say? There's nothing you can do. And God said, I'm going to change your mind. I'm going to change your brain. I'm going to make you act like a two-year-old. Like a baby. All the knowledge you had before, God could take that away. So before you say, before you react and say, there is no God. And God did not create me. Oh, this earth just happened. Big Ben theory, whatever you guys use. Oh, it's a philosophy. Oh, it's this, it's that. Before you question, always remember, God hears everything. God sees everything. Just know, one day when you get in front of God, 
do not say lord forgive me but remember jesus said father forgive them they do not know what they are doing and then also remember the passage of Lazarus with the rich man when the when the when Lazarus asked the rich man he said sir can you give me something to eat or oh, I don't have anything he discarded Lazarus and Lazarus says I would eat the crumb that fall off the floor the rich man says to Lazarus what what is what my dog's gonna eat so the rich man die and Lazarus die Lazarus went to Abraham bosom Abraham bosom is paradise Abraham bosom is the paradise before Jesus Christ when Jesus Christ come then the heaven become the paradise what and then the, the rich man when he was in Hades and hell he said, Father Abraham, if Lazarus could just, you know, get some water and put, you know, the, the tip of his, you know, just, just, just touch the tip of my tongue. Um, Abraham says to him, rich man, you had your good time on earth and Lazarus has his bedtime. And then the rich man said, um, Abraham. Send one of the prophets here to go and preach to them. And Abraham said, they have, you know, they have Moses. They have this person. They have that person to preach to them. If they don't listen to them, why, who do you think they're going to listen to somebody else that I sent from the dead? See, we as human, we are contradicting ourselves. We think we believe we assume that we smarter than the creator each and every time something happen we blame everybody we think we know everything but we forgot and forget who created us we mock we blasphemy Jesus Christ. It's you know some days I feel sorry for us as human. The person that give you life, you turn away from them. And this is this is the world that we live in and today. The person that put us here, we want to kill that person. And then we wonder why the the world is the way it is. We wonder why earth nothing will ever change we are we wonder why we have sin we wonder why people are killing each other who create that you did if we learn to love each other if we learn to you know when jesus said love your neighbor as yourself if we have learned to love our neighbors as ourselves we would know that God is the greatest. God is above all of us. God is the creator. God is the reason why we are able to breathe, to wake up every morning. We would understand that Jesus Christ died for us. And this is the reason why we need to repent. As some people say, oh, I'm not a sinner. I'm a good person. Sweetie, no one is good. Everyone has, everyone has sin. According to the Bible, it's each sin weigh the same. If you still you lie, it is the same sin. There's no different. Don't think you are above or you better than anyone else. We are sinners. Each and every day we need to pray and ask God for forgiveness. We need to believe that Jesus died 
and the cross for us. And he risen in three days. Just remember, just know that and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And each and every night before you go to sleep, if you don't believe in God, just know that he created you. He put you on this earth. He's the only, and also the Bible say, do not fear a man that murder you, that murder the body. Do not fear a man that murder the body. Fear the man. Fear the one that could murder both body and soul. What that mean is that God can destroy both body and soul. Because he's the one that created you. No one else. So this is the reason why you as a person need to understand you did not come in this earth because of your mother or your father. You came in this earth because you are the one that asked God to be here. You ask God if you could come. When God allow you to come in this earth, he allow you to come, you know, to help, to teach, to support the one in need. He didn't allow you to come in this earth to steal, to lie, to deceive others, to murder someone else. You are the one that chose to do that. Who allow you to actually murder someone? The devil. The devil came in your brain and tell you, this is good. This is okay. And also, people say, God love everybody. I'm not saying God love each and every one of us. I'm not denying that. But one thing God says, God made male and female. God did not make anything else. God created us so we could reproduce, we procreate, have babies, okay, and teach them. Because each and every one that come on this earth, we have to teach them. And that's something that I will discuss in the next one. Remember, God love you. Like and subscribe. Jesus is coming soon. Repent.